Hey guys, uh, so today we're gonna be going over Craigslist advertising. So with this one ad that I made four years ago, I've generated at least $100,000 worth of profits. Um, I'm not talking about sales, I'm talking about profits after you pay for materials, labor, literally everything, cash in your pocket, profit. So a lot of companies don't use Craigslist because, or the newer companies don't use Craigslist because they think it's beneath them. And basically that Craigslist is more or less for tire kickers and serial killers. So because of that, I've, again, for the last four years, I've used this one tactic just to generate, you know, about 25 grand a year on average. Uh, this doesn't encompass all my advertising. I do a lot of other stuff, but this is dirt cheap. And oh, forgot to mention that it was only cost me $350 over the course of four years to make that $100,000. So uh, we're going to get started. Uh, if you've never used Craigslist before, we're going to go through the whole thing. Uh, so if you have an account, you can basically skip a few steps. But first, we're going to go to Craigslist.com. And then what you're going to be doing is going into my account. And in this case, I am going to log out. So we're going to create a new account down here. Okay. So here is where you put your email address. Um, you're going to create that. So what it's going to do is it's going to send you uh, an email to the email that you had set up. And so I'm in my email right now and it's here for you. So what you're going to do is just click on this link up here. Actually click the link that would help. All right. So with Craigslist now, uh, a, just a regular password is not going to work. Uh, it's got to be something ridiculously long. So normally I just choose whatever Google, uh, you know, suggest and then set the password. And of course you want to update your password. So that way, when you're logging into this stuff, it'll, you know, you actually remember it. Okay. Uh, at this point, we're going to go back to our account. And now we're, if you want to read the terms of use, you can. I honestly never do. Uh, so, all right. So we're going to scroll down, hit accept. Okay. So now you're in kind of the main screen. So off to the right here is where you're going to be selecting where you're going to be advertising. What I would definitely do is go through and find out all the areas that would be beneficial to you. Okay. In my case, I'm located in South Jersey. So South Jersey, there is a few different areas that we could be picking from. Uh, there is South Jersey, there's Central Jersey, there's uh, the Philadelphia region, and then also the Jersey Shore. Uh, in my case, I'm just leaving it South Jersey. You're going to hit go. So next here, what you're going to do is we're offering a service. Now, what a lot of people do, and I do this as well, is you're not only going to be posting in the service area, but you're also going to be uh, advertising in the for sale by owner area as well. Let me get out of that. Now, the service area, it does cost $5 per post. And I will tell you why that's a great thing. So when I started this four years ago, since it was free, what would end up happening is that you would have to post your ad like three to four times a day just because they have, it's free. So what would happen is everyone would be posting on there every single day, twice a day, three times a day. So in order for your ad to show up at the top, you would have to post, for me, I would do like, as soon as I woke up, then do in the afternoon, then do evening, and then again before I went to bed. Honestly, it was a pain in the ass. Uh, now that they charge, and it's only $5 per post, you can do your ad and it will be up there, probably at the top of the list for me, uh, it's up there for like three weeks at a time. So basically for like $7 per month, you're advertising uh, on Craigslist. Now, again, a lot of people think you're not going to make money, but realize that, again, I made $100,000 uh, just this past year. So this, were, this is being recorded in 2019. 
in it was january of this year obviously it's dead in south jersey there was snow on the ground and within probably two weeks we booked two jobs uh both of them were larger jobs one was like 400 feet one was like 300 and like 75 feet somewhere around there and in total after i paid my guys materials and all that kind of good stuff i turned around and made eight thousand dollars and that was off of one five dollar ad in two weeks on craigslist again you're not going to beat it uh, this isn't a way where you can scale your business and make a full-time income off of this, but it does pretty, it does pretty good. So anyway, uh, back on topic, we're going to go next is asking to choose the category. We're going to be going to household services. Okay. And then in here is where you actually write out your ad. Now, if you would like the exact copy of the ad that I've used, and it's the same ad that I started with and haven't changed it. Now, what you can do is look in the description below and there's going to be a, uh, uh, a link for you. So what you'll do is click on the link and you'll just basically enter your email address and then it will send you the exact copy to you. Now you can use the exact copy. Um, you might want to rephrase it so it kind of sounds like you if you know just read it if it doesn't sound like you then you know you got to change it up a little bit if you do make any changes you do want it to make it sound like you're actually speaking to the individual uh, you kind of have to throw out the lessons that you learned from your english teacher it doesn't work like that anymore uh, what you're going to be doing is instead of having like full-on paragraphs you're going to have maybe one or two maybe three sentences at the most for a paragraph and then not even so much a paragraph but per line you're going to have up to three sentences but usually it's going to be like one or two uh, the reason why you do that is because people aren't going to read a whole block of text it's just never going to happen so you want to do it short and sweet and do that so a few important things the posting title okay now you see up here we added power washing this year so you'll see other stuff but the most important thing is at least for this area is typically when people are looking for to have a fence installed they're either looking for uh typically it's going to be fence installation so no matter what this is the title i'll give you this but uh this is the actual title we use fence installation we actually show up the reason why i put this in here is because it's craigslist so and actually really any business anymore does this but people don't show up they don't answer their phone phone they don't respond to emails they basically i say it to customers all the time it's kind of like you know I go through the same issues at my own house, but I'm trying to get contractors to do some kind of job. Now, it's basically like I have this pile of cash. I really wanted to give to someone to do some work for me, and they basically all turn me down. Uh, they don't say no directly, but what's happening is they don't answer the phone. They don't answer emails. They don't show up. Uh, they don't come out when they're supposed to. They don't do what they're supposed to. You know, it's crazy. Um, side note, we're going through the same issue. I'm trying to get awnings put up at my uh, house down the shore, and... We used a family friend. They were supposed to do the awnings. Every, the companies were like four weeks out and we're like, and we waited till last minute. So it's kind of our fault. But, you know, we went with this guy because he's like, oh, it's going to be two weeks. And he ended up saving us close to like seven, eight hundred bucks just because, you know, he's doing it on the side. So it was supposed to be two weeks. It is now three weeks and two days and the shit is still not up. So anyway. Well, whatever. Uh, I talked to him about starting a, another business because I really enjoy starting businesses so I can start them and, uh, you know, hand them off to someone that's deserving. Uh, you know, I, I was kind of in their position at one point where I was kind of lost in I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life. I was stuck at a really bad job. And, you know, I'd like to help people out. That's why I'm kind of doing this stuff. Anyway, back to post. So uh, what you're going to do is definitely put in fence installation, definitely put we actually show up. Now, another way where you can actually, I guess I should show you real quick, but you want this to be to stick out, right? For whatever reason, whenever you search Craigslist on the house computer, it never moves. But anyway, so I'm just going to type in fence installation, right? It's automatically going to pull you up into services. Now, if you look through, they all look the same. Now, if you notice, here's one that sticks right out. And the reason why that is me. 
And sorry, you're going to hear my dogs in the background. I have five at this point. One came from a previous customer and three, long story short, we have too many dogs. Anyway, so if you notice, it sticks out right away. Uh, the reason for this is because we used emojis. So, and honestly, I just put that in there. Uh, so if you want to add emojis to your, uh, to your title or in the ad itself, you can do that. So what you can type in is basically whenever, whatever you're looking for. I type in check mark emoji. And then I've been using this emojipedia.org. And then here you can pretty much put in anything. Uh, at this point, I think I put in like star or something and then found eight point star. I don't even know what I searched, but you can do whatever. Not even if that's that's not even right. So I'm just going to pick a random item. Just say you wanted to do this grinning face, right? So all you do is you can hit the copy button. Sometimes that doesn't work for me, so I just highlight it, copy, and then you would just go back into your ad here, and you. I wouldn't overdo it because when you start, when the, if people start noticing this, they are going to definitely start using it, and then the whole page is going to be clogged up. But anyway, we're going to go back when I search the uh, fence installation and just show you something real quick. Sorry, I'm jumping back and forth, but this is important. So, you know, how I said when, you know, they start charging $5 per ad, I told you that no one advertises. Now, look at this. So I typed in fence installation, right? So there's this guy right up here, which I actually know this is another company uh, that uses uh, this. Then you have me. Uh, some guy that does everything. So and his basically does everything which someone that's on craigslist might want that i'm not quite sure um but typically they want someone that's just a fence installation but if you notice nothing really sticks out so except for mine sticks out uh we actually show up um basically i'm putting in there something that's like a pain point uh this is getting more into the marketing concepts that you probably don't think of but this is something like when they read it, it's like oh my god they actually show up let me give them a call but anyway look at this so there's one uh we're just going to go back a few weeks so there's one other guy so far there's me there's me again when i reposted it plumber plumber blah 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 handy man landscaping fix it all grading no one else so for the past, and this goes, um, this is going by the uh, most relevant. So this is the most relevant. Um, what we can do is put in newest and see what we have in here. Same thing. If you go by newest, landscape, plumber, farm, that's the same guy from before. Um, and they're a good company as well, actually. But their advertising is horrible. I would help them out, but they are my competitor. And yeah, so no one uses this stuff, right? At all. So spend $5, do this. Let's go back in here, city or neighborhood. You don't really need to put that in there, but you do need to, if you notice it's highlighted in green. So you do have to put in your zip code. And then this is where you actually put in your uh, ad. Again, if you want the exact ad, you can just go in and uh, I will send you it right to your email. Now, the reason why I'm asking to send it to your email, just to be completely honest with you, is that you will basically sign up to get emails from me. Uh, if you want to cancel them at any time, you can. Um, but basically, there's going to be value in every email. Um, by what I mean by that is basically the whole purpose of this channel is two things. One, it's going to be the most comprehensive uh, website for fence professionals. Whether you're a new company uh, or you've been around for 15, 20, 30, 50 years, there's things that I can show you uh, how to do. Uh, but anyway, you'll get them. You can stop, uh, you know, getting the emails, but you're going to save a ton of money and make a hell of a lot too. Uh, so anyway, you would put in whatever in here. You could put, you know, we are, you're not going to do this, but you put, we are the best fence company blah, blah, blah. And then what you want to do after you get all your stuff, right? So just pretend this is your ad. So you come down here. At the very end, what you want to do is 
people use this as a keyword section. So you would put it in different items. So you would think anything else that they might possibly search instead of fence installation. So at that point, you got to think about the different types of fence. So you have vinyl fence, you have aluminum fence, also known as pool fence, right? Uh, you also have chain link. You also want to spell it like this with, um, even though it's spelled wrong, people look at it like that. Uh, if in your area they call it cyclone fence, you want to put in cyclone. Uh, you also want to put in pressure treated. If you do pressure treated, you want to do cedar. If you do cedar, uh, am I forgetting anything else? That's pretty much it. So you want to put this at the end. The reason for that is so that way when they're searching, if they don't search for fence installation, like you're still going to show up. Okay. After that, you come down here, it says your contact information. I would highly leave it as the CL mail relay. The reason for that is if you do the whole show my real email address, there's so many spam bots on here that they're going to basically take your information and you're going to have so many emails. It's going to be ridiculous. Okay. So leave that as is. Show my phone number, do not show your phone number. The reason for that is same thing. They're gonna get your number. You're gonna have so many spam phone calls, not that you don't have any now, but like it's ridiculous. You also get text messages. It just never stops, okay? After that, you're gonna hit continue. After that, so you come up to this map section now, you're just leaving this as is, okay? It'll automatically have your post, uh, your zip code in here. So, you know, just leave it. There's no way to expand your map. Kind of like if you're thinking about Google search areas where like you want to show that the whole, you know, South Jersey or whatever area, it doesn't work like that for this. So you just leave it as is and continue. Next part is the images. You have to have images. If you don't have images, don't even bother wasting your time. Now, when I first started out, I didn't really have any images. So what did I do? I started taking pictures of, um, you know, different repairs I was doing. Uh, you know, if I had to, again, I would go in my backyard and start digging holes and set a post or whatever it may be, or look like I did some kind of work or take pictures of your own fence if someone else did it or your neighbor's fence. I don't care what you do. You gotta get some in images on there. Obviously, when you after you get started and you have your own images, you want to put them up. Um, you don't want to be deceitful and show people, you know, things that aren't yours. But in the beginning, you have to put in something. Uh, if you have your logo, put in your logo. Do something. Okay. Whatever it is, what you want to do is put in your. We'll just do this. You want to put in your best image. So just say I do this. Open these things up. So it'll copy all these, right? So what's gonna happen is the first image here is your featured image. So whatever you want people to see first, that's what you wanna put there, okay? After you do that, you're gonna hit done, okay? So next part is, see how we show up? So here's the thing now. So here's the ad, here's the picture, Here's the rest of the pictures they can go through. See how you definitely want pictures. It just gives a good idea. If you don't have pictures, people aren't going to pick you. After that, you're going to have your ad in here. And then down here is where you're going to end up putting your, uh, your keywords. Now, if you wanted to make any adjustments, like if you wanted to change the location. So if you want to change the map, you would hit edit location. If you want to change the images, you hit edit images if you want to change the post which is this stuff here along with your title you want to hit edit post okay in that case we don't we're good to go so after that you're going to hit publish now it's going to tell you you can read through this but it's basically an email sent to your email address okay the reason why they're doing that is because you have to pay for this thing so you go to the email that they sent Normally it'll come right away. If it doesn't come in a few minutes, then just use, uh, check your spam folder. It might be in there, okay? So next, what you're gonna do is click on this. It tells you several times, don't send this link to other people. Um, they could edit it, so I don't see anyone ever doing that, but whatever. You're gonna click on the link. So then, in my opinion, this 
is a little redundant, but billing option, it basically tells you it's gonna cost you $5. You're gonna hit continue posting. Then here's the last step. You're gonna put in all your information. I'm not clicking on this because it's just gonna auto populate everything for me and I don't wanna show you my information. So uh, what you'll do is put in all your information and then you're gonna hit pay, okay? And after that, you are done. Literally the only thing you have to do. Now, sometimes it does ask you for a phone verification. If it does, what you can do, if you're not quite sure what to do, all you do is put in your phone number for your cell phone. You can either get a text or a phone call. You just do that and you're good to go. Okay. So that's it for that. And now, so once you're done, if you wanted to go post in another area, you would literally just follow the same steps as what we just did. It's not super complicated. Again, if you'd rather follow this in like a step by step and look at it on like a website or a piece of paper or whatever, the link's going to be in the description. You just click on that and that's where you can get my exact ad. That's also where you can see the step by step. There's pictures. It just makes it easier for you. Okay. And that's about it. And I hope you enjoy your day.